The bullpen is the only mafia news station. They said trafficking is a, almost a $10 billion a year profit. Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. The cartels in Mexico, the drug cartels, I believe a part of this whole thing. And I believe that you're right, Sammy. They're making more money from these kids than they are from um, from the from from selling the uh, selling the drugs because it's a it's a consistent supply. They're just every time you turn around, there are thousands of people ready to cross the border. And that means thousands of people who have been lured to to that situation, to the to the border to get them into the United States. And a good part of those are kids and they're lured to that spot. And those are the kids who are going to be used over and over and over again. I asked one of our complainants, I call them, or victims or witnesses in, in one of the cases, tell me a little bit about your day. What is your life like? She's stuck in a room where all she has is essentially a bed. She has maybe some towels or something to wash herself with. And, um, and she has sex one after the other, after the other, after the other. And at the end of the day, she could have, she could have done, you know, 10 or 15 guys. Now that is maybe even more, depending upon how forced they are into this. It's just incredible. And, and let me just add one other thing. One, one little aspect of this, this, this whole trafficking, people trafficking is, is interesting because they were brought, these one, this one group of women, they were mostly Asian, brought to this particular spot in Sunset Park. And, I, and, and Sam, you know, Sunset Park in Brooklyn is, is a, in a big Asian community. So they were lured there. And when they get there, they were put into these, into these apartments and told that we're going to pick you up in the morning and bring you to a location and you're going to go to work. So they would bring all of these women to a spot in Sunset Park and literally on a corner. And they would say to, let's say five of them, okay, you're going to go to the, with this person and they would take them to a restaurant that they'd be working in a restaurant. There was another group, they'd be taking them to a sweatshop because they do have sweatshops in Sunset Park to make clothes. The other group, where were they sent? They were sent to the, to the, the whorehouse. They were sent to the brothel and they were made to do what I just described. The girls said that they, in the morning when they were being separated, they all hoped to get sent to either the sweatshop or to the restaurant as opposed to the to the brothel because of the treatment that they received and and they and they didn't eat by the way they didn't eat until they were finished the day then they would they would get back on their whatever bus they were put on to or however they got to the spot and they would then go back to their um, to their location where they lived in one room lived now not not worked lived in one room with five, six, or seven other women who were in exactly the same position as they were. So that essentially was the life described to me by these people. And um, it, was, it was heartbreaking. I mean, it's just heartbreaking. And, um, and, and I have one other thing to say, but just in terms of kids. We also busted one group uh, who were doing this trafficking and, and, and looking for younger kids, younger people. You know what they ran? They, were, they, they had ice cream trucks that they were running in Brooklyn, selling ice cream. And what's the best way to meet a kid and to talk, sweet talk a kid into coming with, giving them and selling them ice cream. And that's, that was, it was mind boggling because when I heard about it, I said, that's not true. They can't, the detectives told me, Mike, they got an ice, they got ice cream trucks and they're out there doing what they're doing with the ice cream trucks. So, um, but once again, we get back to money. That's basically what it comes down to. So, yeah, it's what it's all about. It's about money and power and stuff like that. Now, this uh, she's got the facts, multi-billion dollar thing. It becomes more important than to them to do this than to sell drugs. This is much more Without money and more, and, and more powerful. And look how easy they get rid of the kid, kill it, sell the body parts and get another one. Yep. So, they, I mean, it, it, it's, uh, you know, an ongoing thing that's so simple to do for them. And um, it's crazy. And what really less bothers me. Too. Yeah. Yeah. But what really bothers less me. Less risky, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Less risky. They're not going to get caught that easy. Exactly. 
Yeah, because there's not people, drugs. There's a few things that drive me crazy with this whole thing. You know, I've been fighting for uh, uh, the drug situation in the country. I have a family member, a couple of them, who got hooked and involved in drugs. We have the border open. The government knows that drugs is pouring in, and our country is people ODing like by tens of thousands. We have kids now being captured at the border. Now, I, I have one of my people I talk to is a Border Patrol cop. He's high ranking. And he told me, he says, uh, what they do is they, they don't even stop them no more. They're allowed now under this administration to walk through. So they stop one kid. He had a knapsack, didn't stop him, gets into an argument and a fight. That's why they stop him for the fight. And then by the time they put Greta on the side, they go through the knapsack. It's full of fentanyl, the whole knapsack. So if he didn't have a fight, he just walks right through with this stuff and goes where he's going. Yeah. Now he was saying, when we do stop them, we ask them their name. They give us the name. They say, do you have anybody in the country who will accept you and take care of you? They say, yes. They're given a name. They say, here, this name, Sammy. I'll use my own name. So my phone rings and the border police call me up. Sammy, we have this kid, whatever her name is. Will you take care of her if she comes there? Yeah, of course. They hang up, they put the kid on a plane and she flies to, let's say I'm in New York and I pick her up. I might be the guy who's gonna be, you know, pimping her off. Uh, yeah. They don't even check. Absolutely. They, they don't even check. I yeah. mean, how, how is this possible? So they know the government knows that this is going on and we won't close the border. So again, a common sense as a gangster, when, why? Over votes, over money, over power. It has the full ingredient every single time. Whenever you look at it, it's those three things, money, power, Whoa. greed, and it's the same thing. So whether it goes, and a lot of times, you know, you say, why would the news people, they go to college, become a news person, they want to help people, they want to tell the truth. Why are they not investigating this? Because their bosses tell them not to do it. Because exactly. the bosses are the elites that we're talking about. Yep. Right. They, exactly. They tell them not to do it. They right. say, stay away from this, you know? Yeah. So. Carrie Lake walked away. That's why Carrie Lake walked away from, she had an amazing legendary career here in Phoenix. And I wish if she is not a patriot, just sounding the alarm for all the mama and papa bears out there. When they try to shut her up, she walked away. You know, I talked with a friend of mine who's a female. I'm never going to mention her name. But I said, doesn't this bother you that you're constantly lying in your job? She said, Sammy, I'm a, I'm a single mom. I make a good salary. Precisely. I support my child. If I open my mouth, I'm out. Not only am I out. I'm not afraid of getting fired. I'll be barred from the whole system. And my, my kid and everybody suffers, so it, please don't even ask me that question. It kills me to go to work. Yep. Uh, I was just about to so say, there is she good people. Go? She, right. that, that's the thing. Yeah, where they, is she going to go? No, well, no. Can I add something? Yeah, sure. Yeah, they're not, they're not just, you know, it's true. They're, they're saying you can't cover this. Don't cover it. They're also running actual gaslighting disinformation techniques. Oh, without a doubt. That, yeah, saying that, no, this doesn't even exist. Even though there's yep. been all these cases where people were convicted and we know what's going on, they're saying, no, if you talk about it, it's a conspiracy theory, which at the same time they're saying, oh, well, it does exist, but it's not that bad. It's exaggerated. Well, now, wait a minute. It can't not exist and then also not be that bad, right? It's got to be. It, it absolutely exists, and so they're running point to cover up for this. Right, Jim. One of one of the one of the arguments against the movie is that it's a QAnon uh, 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 conspiracy theory, right? So I saw the. I actually happened to see the agent who was the the star of that show. He he was interviewed last night, and he said basically this started before anybody even knew what a QAnon was. So I mean I've been saving kids for for a decade for a decade now and it's way before the QAnon stuff. So you know what he's hoping for and this I hope somebody puts him on TV. Probably Fox will be the only ones who'll be able to do it. He said the kids that he has saved are now adults. 
and he's going to bring him forward to be interviewed by by whoever has the the guts to do it and they're going to tell the truth about what they were put through and what what horrors they were put through until this agent saved them so maybe that will um will will have an effect on someone sam but but i'm not holding my breath for it i don't i don't either but i would like to tell them if they would ever to watch us and see us this mafia news station if they want a place to come out and tell the truth i'll open the i'll they'll be on the show 100 percent say whatever they want to say and and do whatever they want to do i don't have the following of fox news and stuff like that have we have a little bit of a following here but uh i would give them a platform in two seconds flat my heart is open to them so and my program is open to them so uh